A pleasant morning, everyone. Let's start our day with a smile in our face and learnings in our mind. For our first activity, let's have guessing time. All you need to do is to guess what is being shown in each picture. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's have the first one. What is that? Can you guess it? Right, that is a wing. How about the next one? Can you guess it? Right, that is a fin. Next, what is that? Can you guess it? Right, those are legs. Let's have the last one. What is that? Right, those are tentacles. Based on our activity, let's have the following parts. Wings, fins, legs, and tentacles. Where do you think the animals use those parts? Right, they use that for movement. For our objectives, first identify the movement of the animals and their body parts used for moving, and explain the importance of body parts in animal survival. Animals have body parts that help them move from one place to another. So, how do animals move? And what body parts help them to move? So, let's find them out. Look at the dog in the picture. What is the movement of the dog? You're right. The dog is walking. It can also run. What does the dog use to move? Correct. Their legs and feet. Legs and feet are used for walking and running. How about these two animals, goat and a horse? What is the movement of a goat and a horse? Right, they can walk and run also just like the dog. But what do they use to move? Correct, their legs and hooves. Legs and hooves are being used for walking and running. How about the bird in the picture? What is the movement of it? Right, it can fly. And what does the bird use to fly? Correct, it's wings. Wings are used for flying. Animals that live in water can swim just like the fish. What does the fish use to swim? Correct, it's fins. Fins are used for swimming. Another animal that lives in water is the squid. It can also swim. But what does the squid use to swim? Correct, it's tentacles. Tentacles are used for swimming. Dolphins can also be found in water. But what do they use to swim? They use their flippers. Flippers are used for swimming. Some animals do not have fins but can still move in the water just like the duck and a frog. They use their web feet. Web feet are used to waddle in water and to walk on land. What does the turtle use to move? A turtle uses its paddle-like feet to move in water and to walk on land. A paddle foot is a foot functioning as or resembling a paddle. Some animals have no legs but they can move, just like the snake. It uses its scales and muscles to slither on land and swim in water. An earthworm doesn't have legs, but it can move. It uses its setae or seti that help anchor and control the worm when moving through soil or when they are crawling. To check if you understand our lesson, let's have this activity. Identify the body parts used by the following animals for moving. Let's have the first one. A carabao. It uses its legs and hooves. How about a butterfly? What does it use? Right, its wings. How about the milkfish? It uses its fins. Next, a lion. What does it use? Right, their legs and feet. How about a parrot? It uses its wings also. Let's pause for a while and reflect on this question. Why do animals use different body parts in moving? Right, 
they use different body parts in moving, it's simply because they have different habitats. That would be all for today. Thank you for listening.